Hi. Hi. Nice sign. Thank you. Did you move your money? Yes. When did you move your money? I moved my money a week ago. Did you, uh, why did you not move your money before that? Did you think about it? Let's, let's, let's back up a step. Let's back up a step and say, would you say if, 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 if uh, my reasoning was that we as the people, as the 99%, we vote every day. We vote with our dollars. We vote where we spend our dollars and what we spend our dollars on. Okay. When did the bailout happen? 2009? Yeah. Okay. So that's been a couple years. Okay. So since then, everyone that is part of this group, this occupation group, has supported big banks by leaving their money in big banks. Okay. So everyone that's involved, the 99% who have accounts at the big banks, have continued to support big banks since then and did not think until recently when the group said, we should move our money out of that big bank. That's when the group says, oh yeah, let's show them and vote with our dollars. Okay, well I think that's what part of Occupy is, is to put the awareness okay. of what the big banks are doing. Right. To enlighten the public. Because right. our news channels, they lie so much, they only tell part of the truth. They show a piece of something, but they don't, it doesn't portray the true story. But if people were mad at the banks, Bank of America, for taking a $700 billion bailout, Two years ago, and now the people and now they want another bailout. Right. And that was why they wanted to fight Absolutely. All the I'm pissed off about it. <laughs> but don't you think that people, as individuals, should realize that they, we, create the system we live in? We vote with our money, and we support companies that we support. We we buy MacBooks. That means we support Apple. We support shipping jobs overseas. We support. Factories in China with children I don't building think on America computers. Realized what the banks were doing, and that's what But it goes all the way. In, in it's not just name. banks. You know, you know the stories about um, the iPod factories in China, where workers in communist China, workers jump out of factories because their conditions are so bad. They're building iPods for us. But we love, we love apples, right? We love Apple. We love Steve Jobs. We vote with our dollar with everything we buy. See, I'm not a computer person, so... But anything you buy, if you buy if you buy makeup, makeup companies do testing on animals. That means you are supporting that. You cannot go out and protest against what they're doing if you are buying their products. It is everything that you do in every step that you I take. <laughs> but you see, you see, you see where I'm going. Everything you do supports something. Well, that's where we all got to start paying attention to what we're buying. Right. Buy American made and try to buy stuff that's just made in the States and then we So you, you could tr you could try this and you have a phone that was probably made in China by a big corporation. You know, it's it's the system that we live in and it's the system that we have all supported. So when this group goes out and goes and tries to say we hate the system that we have, the ninety nine percent are the ones who created that system. The system wouldn't exist without people buying into it. Right? I am a shareholder of companies. I own stock in Chase Bank. I own stock in Bank of America. I, as a shareholder, part of the 99%, anyone with a 401k or an investment, we own the major corporations. We vote for the board members. Right? We vote for the board members, right? We run our, our publicly owned corporations. So I'm an owner of the corporations, and I get dividends on that. So I vote there. I vote which banks I'm going to do business with as a person, which credit cards I'm going to have, which uh, businesses I'm going to shop and spend my money at, and I vote for my politicians. So everything about our system has evolved and become what it is because the 99% has supported it all the way through. But it's like dangling a piece of candy up. <laughs> you know what I mean?